Welcome everybody. My name is Christy Coker. I'm just very happy to have you all here tonight. I would like to give uh, just a few quick announcements and then we will get started. First of all, I wanted to let you know that on October 5th, we'll be having a Houston Poetry Festival. Is that right? It, it's a satellite event for the Houston Poetry Festival. Yes. It's a satellite event for the Houston Poetry Festival. And it starts at 6.30 on October 5th. So all are welcome. Hope you'll come. Then also, October 9th, we will be having a concert here. It's a Sunday afternoon, 4 p.m. It's going to be the Texas Guitar Ensemble. And it's here to sort of just part of uh, this particular show, this collection of work, uh, just to celebrate that. Also, we will be having an event with our partner, Houston Wilderness, on the 20th of October. And we'll just be celebrating that partnership with them. We'll tell you a little bit more about Houston Wilderness in just a minute. And then we'll have our regularly scheduled drawing sessions, uh, one on the 9th and one on the 23rd. So those artists in the group, I hope you'll be able to join us for one of those sessions. And so now I would like to introduce you to Holly Thorson. She's with Houston Wilderness. And Houston Wilderness, as I said earlier, is partnering with us, with Carol, for this particular show. And we are thrilled to have them as partners. dealing with the microphone, so if I'm not doing it right, let me know. <laughs> uh, we are so thrilled to be able to partner with uh, Archway Gallery and Harold Joyner uh, with this beautiful exhibition, A Walk in the Woods. This is sort of what Houston Wilderness is all about. Uh, we work to preserve, protect, and promote 10 eco-regions in the greater Houston area. And when I saw Harold's paintings, I thought, this is what we do, this is what we're about, uh, this is what we celebrate, and we are so happy to be part of this um, opening. So thank you very much. Thank you, Holly. Um, and also I wanted to let you know there is some literature about Houston Wilderness um, on the pedestal over there, and then there are these beautiful books, that, uh, photography books that are complimentary from Houston Wilderness, so please feel free to take one. They're just some beautiful photography. These are local photographers? Yes. Um, when we put the albums together, it was a, a call for photos, and these are local photographers, photography clubs. There are a couple of, um, yeah, they're local. Okay, so local photographers. Yes. Uh, um, what, what are some of the um, natural areas that you work on? Well, Brass is Bend. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. That's okay. Brass is Bend, um, which is one of, it's represented in the paintings back there and also Herman Park, uh, Memorial Park. Um, we cover a 24 county area, so there are a lot of different natural areas. Um, some of my favorite places close to me are Galveston Island State Park. I don't know if any of you have been there, but it's really gorgeous. And then um, Armand Bio Nature Center is um, a treasure. If you've been to NASA with your kids and they get bored and restless, take them to Armand Bio Nature Center and they'll calm down. <laughs> I promise. Yeah. Does anyone else have a question for Holly about Houston Wilderness? I just like to say that the um, the atlases are free, but for an extra twenty five dollars, Holly will autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Holly. And then now, the whole reason that we're here tonight, our featured artist is Harold Joyner, and he 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 says he enjoys solitary walks in the woods, and it's sort of. I guess invigorates his soul and brings a calmness to him and and I can definitely see that in his works. It's certainly the color palette I told him yesterday. I just absolutely love the color palette that he's used. And um, anyway, here he is. I think this is your third show, second show with Archway, and we're just thrilled to have him. Please tell us a little more about your 
your body of work. So I want to begin with uh, thank yous, uh, lest I forget them uh, at the end. I wanted to thank my colleagues at uh, Archway. It seems uh, sometimes maybe like, uh, you know, putting on an art show. You know, you just hang the paintings on the wall, turn the lights on, and it's done. <laughs> well, there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes, and I get a lot of support and encouragement from my colleagues. So uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, I also want to thank Houston uh, Wilderness for uh, agreeing to partner with me. I have been involved and associated with and members uh, of many national uh, organizations dedicated to preserving the natural uh, wilderness and uh, environmental issues for many years, but I did not know uh, Houston Wilderness until recently. And I'm thrilled to meet them because they are concerned with the wild spaces around Houston and inside the uh, urban environment. And uh, those are the places, selfishly, that I um, really enjoy. Those are the places where I uh, find renewal uh, and uh, a sense of uh, calmness and solace. Um, I also want to uh, speak a little bit about my background to tell you briefly. Uh, I'm an architect by profession. I practiced for uh, 30 years, uh, the last 10 years of which uh, was in uh, Saudi Arabia. I went there to work for uh, Saudi Aramco, which is the uh, state-owned uh, oil company. Um, I was uh, like a client. I'm the person that the clients reported, that the consultants working for us reported to. Uh, every big corporation has somebody uh, like that. So uh, when I came back uh, to Houston, um, I just really felt like I wanted to do something different. And um, I think at that point, then my background, my further background uh, emerged. I was born and grew up in a small town in the uh, high, uh, flat, grassy plains of New Mexico. Uh, and um, we lived uh, at the western uh, edge of town. Uh, I mean, literally, the, the paved road coming through the subdivision came to an abrupt stop. Uh, it just ended at our property line, and beyond that was just all grassy prairie, as far as the eye can see. And not too far into that prairie, there was a shallow uh, arroyo where uh, I played a lot uh, by myself sometimes with friends in the neighborhood. And I developed a, um, a closeness to a, a, sensor, a kind of sensory experience of being very close to the elements of uh, the landscape that uh, I kind of get in touch with again when I go back, when I, when I take my walks in, uh, in the woods around uh, Houston. So there I was, I was close to all the tall grasses and reeds and these giant sunflowers that grew up in this arroyo. And here, you know, I'm walking amongst the trees and I get, I get that same sense of something, you know, closing around me and uh, embracing me. So uh, let me uh, finally say uh, a few words about uh, this particular show. When I uh, got to thinking about what I wanted to do for the show, I thought, you know, I really want to do color. I want a lot of color. Uh, as a painter, I really, really enjoy the act of mixing the colors and, you know, experimenting and what happened, you know, if I put a little bit of this in here and what happens if I put a little bit of this this in here and uh, just experimenting and seeing what the result is and and also then as paint, painting the landscape uh, when, I'm, when I'm painting the landscape I'm not looking to exactly duplicate the color as it's seen to my eye in the space I need to 
represented in some way that takes it uh, a step further. Um, and so um, thinking that I wanted to do a lot of color, the obvious idea that pops into my head then is autumn. And uh, a lot of people here would think, well, there's no, there's no <laughs> color in Houston. You know, Houston doesn't have any autumn color. But we do have autumn color. Um, it's just not in great abundance like one sees in New Hampshire. It's there in little pockets. You have to kind of look for it and, and know where it is. And strangely enough, it's also true that the winter landscape here provides a lot of opportunity for interpretation of the color that's there. And also an observation that I have had over the years since I've painted the landscape, since I focus on water a lot, and I would also add that when one takes a walk in the woods around the Houston area, anywhere, eventually you're going to come in contact with water. So I've painted water a lot, and it's just an observation I've had that when I see the water in the cold months of the year, it's more intensely colored than it is in the warmer months of the year. I don't know why that is, it's just an observation. Um, so that's uh, how this body of work uh, resulted. Sometimes when I step into the studio, I'm not there to paint any particular thing that I've seen or I don't have subject matter that's uh, at hand, but I still have the urge to paint and so I just start painting with a blank canvas drawing on my imagination, uh, memory of something that I've seen, or, uh, or just a vague memory, for example, of you know, rocks and water together, you know, floating around in my head. And so I just start painting, and that's what I paint. So, so the show that you see is comprised of two bodies of work, the more realistic works that are uh, inspired by a particular location, and the works on this side that are just total inventions and totally created from uh, imagination. So uh, that's kind of what I have to say about the show. Um, thank you all for coming out. Uh, and uh, should I ask for anybody have questions? If anybody have any questions? Uh, No? Yes, okay. Um, why did you use different kinds of paint? Because virtually all of the imaginative ones are, you know, like that, and all the more realistic ones are that other kind. Those paintings are done in oil, and this one and one of the others here are, are, are done in oil. These little uh, paintings here are done uh, in another medium. They're done in acrylic paint, mostly, and they're done...